I'm Sarah Gore and welcome to Open House. We're with designer Patrick Lon, who shows how he created a cool and casual look at a New York apartment. And we're with Bravo star and broker extraordinaire Ryan Serhant, high above the street they call Billionaire's Row. We learn how Audible and its employees are spearheading Newark, New Jersey's remarkable revival. Plus, townhouse living Cali style with designer Jamie Roddy. But first, pet-friendly elegance in a mid-century home with Aaron Duke. One of my favorite hidden features about this kitchen is the Sub-Zero beer drawer. I mean, who doesn't need one of those? Welcome to Open House. Today I'm coming to you from this impressive, modern, and newly renovated apartment in Manhattan's Midtown neighborhood. Check out these commanding 360 degree views framed by floor to ceiling windows that definitely make the city the star of the show. The main entertaining spaces include this sun dappled corner living room that definitely begs for grand entertaining. There's even a wet bar. On the other wing is this bright, open concept dining and kitchen area. There are a total of six bedrooms, including the master suite with river views. In all, the home is approximately 4,500 square feet high on the 65th floor. Let's start things off in Los Angeles with designer Aaron Duke. Aaron completely remade this mid-century residence to be a chic and handsome home that was also, and this is key, pet friendly. He used elegant furnishings in neutral tones and durable materials throughout, yet never sacrifices style. Hi, I'm Aaron. I'm a life changer and interior designer at Aaron B. Duke here in Los Angeles, California. And I'm so excited to show you one of my favorite homes that was designed for my best client, Tracy Falco, with her dogs in mind. Come take a look. Welcome to Tracy's living room. Since we had no formal entry, we created a dramatic statement room when you open the doors. With the high vaulted ceilings, it creates lots of light and drama. One of the client's favorite pastimes in this home is to sit by the fire on a cold Los Angeles day while sipping a glass of wine and flipping through one of her favorite books. Now you may not think that a white leather sofa would be dog friendly, but actually it's quite easy to keep clean and we keep plenty of throws around the living room so the dogs can sit on the furniture with the humans. I could lay here all day looking at these exposed beams that give us some architectural flair. But if I did that, we'd never get through this tour. So let's get going. This kitchen is definitely food central. I love the stainless steel island that's available for food prep or for serving. And I love the walnut and honed marble against the wall that creates an eclectic vibe in here. One of my favorite hidden features about this kitchen is the Sub-Zero beer drawer. I mean, who doesn't need one of those? And if you'll notice behind me, the massive skylight pouring light down on the breakfast table to make you say, wake up and good morning and get your day started right. So I love this killer family room. We took the same wall neck and continued it in here. So we've hidden the TV and all the components away so it's a nice clean wall. We covered the walls in this great wall covering that has just a shimmer of gold to it. And I love the indoor outdoor fabric that we chose for the sectional so all the members of the family can kick their boots up and relax. And next to this is a guest bedroom that's perfect for all your family and friends for a weekend getaway. Let's go check that out. This guest bedroom is definitely gonna give your friends and family a nice warm hug. From the chandelier that's reminiscent of the mid-century modern era, then we encase the walls and ceiling in a sensual suede wall covering. And when you don't have storage, what do you do? You build it in and let it cantilever over the bed. Let's go have a look at the master. And this is where the lady of the house sleeps. And yes, there are custom dog beds, but I know they don't sleep on the floor. I love the wallpaper that we chose. It's a great graphic pattern that gives you a really bold statement. The chandelier above me, that was actually a vintage piece that we had brought in. We've also integrated a recessed walnut cabinet that's lit to highlight her corals from all her travels. This is the party deck. This is where all of Tracy's friends and family end up every time she entertains. 
As you come off the kitchen, you'll notice that we have a dining table that's made of teak with black cushions. The lush landscaping provides a lot of privacy, which clients here in Los Angeles always love. So thank you for joining me today with one of my favorite projects and one of the best clients. And I love this home and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Coming up next, we are in Manhattan Beach at a light-filled stunner. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now we join designer Jamie Roddy at a recent project that she co-designed in Manhattan Beach, California. The townhouse style home is a bright and airy refuge that blends distinct architectural elements with warm and inviting pieces. See for yourself. Hi, I'm Jamie Roddy with Eden LA Interiors and this is 30th Street, Manhattan Beach. This home is all about combining modern architecture, strong lines, masculine elements with softer, more feminine elements that make the home welcoming, warm, comfortable. So there's so many beautiful elements to this house. I can't wait to show them to you. Come, let's take a look. Let's start the tour in the place where you'd start the day. In the master suite, you've got soaring ceilings and you've got your own private terrace. The comfortable bed and the roaring fireplace all create the most coziest atmosphere that you want to start and end your day. I'm particularly in love with the ensuite bathroom. It's a zen oasis in there. I've placed river rocks in the shower pan to give an earthy feel to really ground the modern architecture in there. This room is the icing on the cake of the house. It is absolutely infused with ample and abundant sunlight. Across from these great abstract art panels is this tall sculptural fireplace. You'll see that the white tile on the side actually wraps around and leads us to the floor to ceiling glass windows that open all the way so we can enjoy that great ocean breeze. Every day living here is like a vacation. This is a kitchen so welcoming, anyone would feel at home here, from beginning cooks to expert chefs. One of my favorite design features is this gorgeous natural stone waterfall edge island. We had it backed with the washed oak from the floors to tie in more of these natural elements. If you'll look out over the expansive view of Manhattan Beach, you'll see a very gorgeous spun iron chandelier that also ties in to these great pendant lights. Let's go check out where the real action happens, the back deck. So this is the upper level deck where the architecture of the home really shines. You've got this gorgeous Ipe wood on the ceilings that creates an absolute warmth. You've got a black marble fireplace, barbecue, built-in kitchen, two separate bar areas for full food preparation. The heaters above and the ocean breezes, it's pure indoor-outdoor living. Well, thanks for coming by. I had a wonderful time designing this space and I hope you enjoyed seeing it. I think I'm gonna chill now and enjoy it for a bit. We'll see you next time. Coming up after the break, we explore why Newark, New Jersey is fast becoming one of the hottest cities on the East Coast. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now we're in Newark, New Jersey, a city in the midst of a revival that's spearheaded for one by Audible. We meet CEO Don Katz, who explains the company's investment in the city, and we also meet proud Newark native Monica Thierry at her home not far from Audible headquarters. Audible was founded here in New Jersey in 1995. Audible decided to be a company that could actually be better for society. So right now we're in a historic church that we decided to take and turn into an innovation cathedral. 400 of our most gifted super techs have moved in here and it's a wonderful mixture of old and new. It's a beautiful place to work and it also is a statement for the community that the old can be revived in a really cool way. Newark is clearly happening as a place to do business at a level that makes companies better. Working in Newark means that you're part of a great American comeback story, but it's also a great place to live. Hi, 
I'm Monica. Welcome to my home. I'm a communications manager at Audible and I love living in Newark. I actually grew up down the block, only two houses away, so my family's history in Newark go way back and I'm proud to be a fourth generation homeowner in this city. I moved here a year and a half ago with my husband. In that time, a lot has happened for us. Most importantly, we welcomed our first child, Michael. The entry opens to both the dining room and the living room, but let's check out the living room first. Come on. This space is all about relaxation. It's where we hang out and get in a lot of family time with our son. We literally live in this space. This room is filled with family heirlooms. We have my grandparents' speaker, my great-grandmother's Singer sewing machine, my father's typewriter before there was computers, and this beautiful, bold, geometric painting from my in-laws. In a city as historic as Newark, we really love bringing in timeless pieces that reflect not only Newark's beautiful history, but my family's as well. Now let's go take a look at the sunroom. I have a lot of favorites in this house, but what really hooked me to buy it was this fireplace. I just love its rustic, almost medieval feel. But the space was empty and really lacked an inviting element. So a friend of ours built a 16 foot bench, custom to fill all our vinyl records, and it even has pull-out ottomans to make cozying up to the fireplace that much more comfortable. I just love how bright and airy this room feels all year round. And speaking of bright, let's go check out my dining room. I wanted this room to be an homage to what makes Newark so special. For example, Newark is home to Branchbrook Park, which has the largest collection of cherry blossoms in the United States. I reflected this in my German silver credenza that's embossed with cherry blossom branches. And another family heirloom are these candlesticks that were made by hand by my grandfather. In fact, he worked at Tiffany & Company, the original Tiffany factory that was based in Newark for many years. And for another touch of whimsy, we selected this chandelier that continues the floral elements of this room. Now let's go upstairs and take a peek at the bedrooms. Everything here was chosen to bring out the colors of the artwork that hangs above our bed. We chose furniture that was durable and had a timeless look. I really love the walnut wood and the hardware, particularly on the drawers and on the wardrobe. The hope chest that sits at the foot of the bed belonged to my mother, and I really look forward to filling it up with my family's treasures. This is truly a serene and comfortable place to escape to after a long day. Although, as any new parent knows, you can never really escape. We're now in my son's bedroom. It was designed to be playful and really bring in the natural elements of wood and greenery. In the corner of the room is a rocking chair and reading nook. It's where I put the baby to bed every night, and above it is a wooden tree canopy that was custom built for our wedding. It actually framed our sweetheart table at our reception. It's another special way we bring in our love and personal history into the design of our home. I hope you enjoyed taking a peek inside our little slice of heaven in my hometown of Newark, New Jersey, a city with a rich history and a bright future. It's always nice to see a homeowner with such strong ties to and love of their community. Coming back to the break, we are with Ryan Sirhan on the street they call Billionaire's Row. Welcome back to Open House. Now we're with regular to our show, Ryan Sirhan, star of Bravo's Million Dollar Listing New York. He shows off a one-of-a-kind duplex graced with astounding views and a few unique features that have earned it the name the Spring Garden Residence. Hi. My name is Ryan Sirhant. You might know me from Bravo's Million Dollar List in New York and the best-selling book, Sell It Like Sirhant. And right now we are at 157 West 57th Street, Billionaire Row's first super tall skyscraper. We're standing on the 41st floor in the Spring Garden Residence. And I cannot wait to show it to you because these views are out of this world. There are five bedrooms, six bathrooms, finishes like you've never seen before, all done by Catherine Newman. The design is like, what? 
you know what? You just have to follow me. Let's go. Now, most apartments have a living room. This apartment has a great room. It is great because it is 43 feet long with windows facing north over the park, east towards the river, and south for all of that sun. It's also great because it's not just one room. It's big enough to have a dining room, a receiving room, and a full formal living room. It's also got massive ceilings with floating wood grade stained panels, all of this glass everywhere, and I know what you're thinking. This furniture looks pretty awesome. You might also be thinking, is it even comfortable? And let me tell you, this half egg chair is very comfortable. And for $28.5 million, I'll give it to you. But you know what's even better than a half egg chair? The solarium, and there's 671 square feet of it. Let's go. Right off the great room, 671 square feet of indoor-outdoor space with glass ceilings all the way up reaching 20 feet. This is something that no other apartment has. This is what really makes this home a trophy residence. And you've got these two huge glass doors which open all the way up. And you have all of this outdoor space. This is pretty crazy. The master bedroom suite is a sanctuary unto itself. And it is actually the same size as that entire great room downstairs to give you an idea of what kind of space we're dealing with. Not only does it have these incredible Manhattan Central Park views, but it's also got this floating headboard views down into your solarium so you can keep tabs on the party that's still going. And what I love about this is that you can kick back relax, wake up slowly on a Sunday morning and watch the leaves change in Central Park. I mean, that is luxury. So that's the tour. Thank you so much for walking through the Spring Garden Residence at 157 West 57 with me. It has been awesome, but now I have to go prepare for my garden party that I'm gonna throw for myself in the solarium, you should come. Coming back with a break, Dapper Digs on the Upper East Side. We'll see you in just a bit. You're watching Open House. Now we join designer Patrick Lawn for a look at one of his newest projects on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. Patrick designed the home to be a sophisticated homage to the city, using subtle patterns and neutral color throughout. See for yourself. Hi, my name is Patrick Lawn. I'm an interior designer based in New York City, and we are here today at 200 East 95th Street, located on the Upper East Side. This residence is a five bedroom, four and a half bath, and it's about 5,000 square feet. And I would like to show you the apartment. Come along with me. As you walk into the apartment, you find this enormous gallery and entry space. So the gallery space, I wanted to make it as a jewelry box. So the two wallpapers, there's one in the entry that's very beautiful from Philip Jeffries, and it has a sparkle, it's a metallic leaf wallpaper. And in the big gallery, because it's such a long space, I wanted the wallpaper to be more intimate. So that's also a metal leaf paper, but much more warmer in the champagne colors. The gallery space is the spine of the apartment, and as you walk in, you find a vista that draws you back into the great room. When you walk into the great room, you're amazed by the size of the room, the luxury feel of it, and the immense amount of light from the windows. So the living room area has this huge oversized sectional sofa. I like it to be very comfortable and very casual. I don't like the seating areas to be very formal. One of my favorite features are the two chandeliers that I had custom made and they really add a sparkle and an additional luxurious feel to the space. The dining room table is my design as well and it has a beautiful, beautiful high gloss finish and it's a rosewood that we have custom made here in the United States. And you can have fabulous dinners here and I added some vintage chairs and custom made side chairs for comfort. And the best part is that either you're dining or lounging, you have New York City all around you.
I hope you enjoyed the tour of this beautiful apartment and learn that with just the right amount of sparkle and texture, you can create an elegant and livable home. See you next time. That's all for now, but we hope you enjoyed the show. If you're like me and just can't get enough beautiful homes and stunning design, then head to our Open House TV YouTube channel and tap the bell icon so you're notified when new videos are posted. Of course, you can also find us on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook at Open House TV. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.